Hi everyone, it's me Lee with Victorian Dreams by Lee and I just have the project share that I think I owed you when I made the album tutorials, uh, the 6 by 6 and um, I have new pages that I want to come out I think will be easier. I'll try to get that done in the next couple of days. But here is the album where I showed you the tutorial and the links will be down below for you to do Beginners 101 album how to wrap it and then part two is how to do pages um the hinge is in part one so anyway here's the album that i want to uh show you here's the the project share um so let me tell you and remind you that it is k and company and I was able to find it for $3.99 at Michael's. This has 36 sheets, guys. And remember, the reason why I did the tutorial was to show you how to make an album and get the most out of your paper. I can make, I used one, I pulled out one sheet each of this pattern, and it has three each. And I only used half, half of one sheet of each pattern. I can make six albums out of this paper pad. So I think that was um, a really good buy and I'm happy. And I also bought these two from uh, Tuesday mornings and I used a few of the items out of that. So, um, and out of the half of sheets, these are my leftover papers. So, okay, enough about that. So, um, and I'll put the links down below of the tutorials. But here it is. I pulled this out of my stash. It's actually, it looks like this, um, uh, I don't know if it's a flower material. It's a flower material, but it looks like the flower below it. So that's why I used it. And then I use with the ephemera, it has the, um, acetate kind. I raised this. I stained everything with uh, Tim Holtz uh, tea dye, um, all the pages, and then the little buttons, and there's a little button there, and it just looked so cute. This is a butterfly underneath the paper, and then I layered it a couple of times. I used uh, this out of my stash, um, the ribbon from Hobby Lobby, and okay, so let's look at the album. It's a six by six with a two inch spine. There's the back. And there's beautiful little tuck spots and all kind of stuff. I got kind of burned out because I made eight of them with this size. So I did not um, decorate this for like two weeks. And I'm glad I waited because I really enjoyed today. And I really did different than I would have a couple of weeks ago. So. Um, so here is the pull out. Uh, you can put photos in here or journal. And all of them have, there's four pages and all of them have this. And here is um, another uh, hinged page. But look at the beautiful tuck spot. And this is acetate. And it, you could put your picture there and tuck it there. Oh, it's just so pretty. I really really like that. Can you see it? It's got glitter and everything. So that's hidden there. So let's go to this page. Um, I see uh, glitter and glue stick stuff. So here's a little tuck spot here with the bird. And this is another pullout um, for your photos. Um, and then then this page um, is this right here. Now let's turn the page. Here is a pretty little tuck spot. See the little bird postage stamp? And then you open it up and the tuck spots on this are actually the acetates here. So I think that's just so cute. Um, and then on this side is a bird on this side. So let me pull those up and let you see it closer. 
So isn't that really pretty? It really pops on those pages that are um, more basic than this. This is so loud that, you know, I didn't want to put anything on that. And I want the paper to um, be the focal point and everything. I want you to enjoy the paper. Is that not the prettiest pull out right there with that? Oh, it just looks so nice. And so when you open it up, um, here's the tuck spot is a butterfly. So I see glue strings hanging out. I actually hot glued just the edge, just the edges. These are actual stickers and I didn't pull the sticky off the back because I only uh, hot glued it just to the edge there so that it could be a tuck spot. Um, and then the last page is this bird right here is just too pretty that I, I, I could not use it. So I put it there and then um, when you open this, look at that beautiful little tuck spot there with that acetate. Is that not so pretty? So I'm really, really enjoying this album. So my question is, do I make five more pretty much just like this? And this is what I gift to all my sister-in-laws for Christmas. Or do I use the paper and cover it on uh, different things like cover a mailbox or cover a box and make just one big gift with all this paper matching um, and everything. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to figure out which way I should go. Should this be a whole bunch of just this paper to one person? Or do I make five more and this is what my sister-in-laws get for Christmas? And then it gives me time to enjoy it as I do it if I do it for them. But then just one gift and it's all this pattern of paper for one person but they really have to like <laughs> this paper because it would be five or six items i don't know so you tell me what you think um guys i want to remind you that i have a giveaway going on because i hit so many subbies and was so busy and didn't realize it and everything so it's the video right before this one it says giveaway so watch that be a part of it because it's going to be worth over like a hundred dollars of goodies in in the box that i'm mailing out and it's international so um go back to that video i'll put the link down below of the giveaway in this um video and i'll put the links to how to learn how to make this um album so yeah guys thank you for watching have a blessed day Bye bye